Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Lee's World of Weather. Clicked on to the long range weather forecast discussion for May 12th to 24th, May 12th to 16th. This is what we're forecasting. Uh, there's not much of a change since yesterday. We still have a trough here on upper low over the Bering Sea in Alaska. We also have below normal heights rate trough over eastern Canada and Greenland. And we have near zonal flow across much of the nation with above normal heights. So you're looking at the GFS and I go through the days and I'm coming to 16. This is what the flow looks like. And then we take a look at the rest of the models. They're in good agreement. Okay, um, during this period, scattered showers and thunderstorms are forecast from the central Rockies to the northeast. There is a potential for heavier rain with high elevation snows across portions of the central Rockies over the weekend. Low pressure is forecast to develop, develop in the central plains and enhance a low level easterly flow, upslope, upslope flow. This may cause localized heavy rainfall. Thunderstorms will be possible from the northern plains to the Midwest. Then, as we get, as the system moves further east, a southerly flow across the plains will transport moisture northward. Rain and storms will be possible over the weekend from the Midwest to the Northeast and the Middle Atlantic. Heavy rain and storms are also forecast for Florida as uh, a flow and moisture interacts with a frontal boundary. And above normal temperatures are forecast for the southern U.S. with anomalies of 10 to 15 degrees above normal. And these anomalies will spread to the southeast and the middle end by next week. The low average temperatures are forecast for the northern border. May 15th to 19th. Here we are at the 17th. The trough is forecast here across the Bering Sea and Alaska. And we also have eastern, um, Green, eastern Canada and Greenland with above normal heights across much of the nation here. Some of the models are showing a tendency for a trough here in the west. And that's the GFS. And then we look uh, at most of the models are showing a tendency for that trough with a split flow in this region. So the models are in pretty good agreement. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures for much of the region. Forecast anomalies will be about 2 to 8 degrees above normal, and the highest anomalies will be across this area here, where anomalies will be about 8 degrees above normal. For precipitation, let me see if this is the right map. Nope. For precipitation, okay, there's not much change in the other one. I'm forecasting below normal precipitation here. And the probability of occurrence is 45 to 50 percent, and above normal precipitation is forecast from the plains eastward to the Atlantic coast, with a probability of 45 to 55 percent. Now we're going to take a look at the period for May 20th to the 24th. Weak anomalies are forecast across much of the nation, along with above normal heights across. Um, much of the of the region. So now we're going to go and we're looking here at the GFS. And uh, the GFS is showing intensity for a trough here again, as is, I think this is the European or not. Nope. This is European assumption is also showing intensity for a trough. But overall, we're expecting. Weak height anomalies with above normal heights across much of the nation. So for this forecast period, I have to get the map up. Oh, let me see. I gotta get the map. Okay, I'm forecasting above normal temperatures again for much of the nation. And anomalies would be about two to eight degrees above normal. And the highest anomalies would be across the four corners region this time. And I'm um, showing a little change in the precipitation anomalies for this period. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for May 12th to 24th. 
Thanks for coming to Mungle's World and Weather and have a good day.